the long road i'm gonna be driving this rig with the bad boy right here from sarasota to quebec canada that's a 30 hour drive and i'm gonna sail on the saint lawrence river so that's the plan it should take about 30 hours but it's gonna take me more than that i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna drive i don't know somewhere between 50 and 60. i don't think i'll go above 60. although i can i can do 65 with this but it's it doesn't feel quite right so it's all well packed i remove all the top shrouds and the uh, forestay everything is stored in there i remove a bunch of stuff and everything is secure i have the mask secure i'm gonna be alone 30 hours i enjoy driving so it shouldn't be too bad but uh i'm gonna have to uh do like the big big semi truck and stop at like truck stops and things like that i don't plan to stay in a hotel i can stay in there even though it's going to be pretty hot the towing capacity is 5,000 pounds and i almost have that here i know the boat is 2500 but that's when it's really empty with no engine nothing i got a bunch of stuff i got the the trailer so it's, it's just over 4,000 pounds i can monitor the transmission uh, temperature so it should be good works well no issues zero issues I stop every few hours and I always check if everything is okay I walk around and especially this here I make sure that everything is secure and of course the attachment here the tongue of the trailer I really look at that often I'm hoping I can make it tonight through the Canadian border so that's the plan and uh, it's going well so far I'm driving 55 sometimes 60 it's slow, but uh, you know, I think it's better this way. So here we go. Hopefully the last day on the road. November Alpha will stay on the hard for about a week and then I'm gonna do a almost 20 hour drive to James Bay or the beginning of Hudson Bay Chisa City so that was the whole goal of the trip and but I didn't really feel to committing to this but everything seems to fall in place and feeling good about it and this coming week I'm gonna prepare the trip food and all that stuff okay departure number two I'm leaving Quebec City I've been here for almost two weeks now and I'm gonna drive to James Bay, Chisasibi. So it's a long drive. It's a 17 hour drive from Quebec. It's basically straight north. The access is through the Cree Nation. Right now they're closed for COVID. My argument is I'm, I'm not stopping there. I'm just going through. So I'll need to get authorization from 
the Cree nation to put the boat in the water there. So the first step will be to stop at Radisson and then work the try to work this out once there. Second day of driving from uh, Quebec City. So that's the road. A little rough, but most of it was uh, was nicer than this. So I'm taking a shortcut, a dirt road between uh, Le Bel sur Quevillon and Matagami. I'm saving about an hour. So the decor is changing, the trees are getting smaller, it's getting colder and we get a nice northern wind even if the model, weather model says it should be from the south but anyway that's gonna be interesting. So everything is doing fine and I'm keep going, I'm almost halfway to uh, Chisasibi on the Bay James Road, the Diamond Highway. Uh, this is the gate to enter Chisasibi. So it's restric restricted because of COVID. All right, I just turned around, it didn't work. So uh, I'm kind of pissed off. So the plan is to go to Long Point, which might turn out to be a better alternative. It's 48 kilometers of dirt road. I have to go north from here. So I'll go there. That was not my first choice, but I'll go there, I'll check it out. And uh, if I can't put my boat in the water there, Executing plan B. If plan B doesn't work, we're gonna go back to Radisson plan A. Okay, so uh, going to Long Point requires crossing La Grande 1, a huge hydroelectric project. I think it was built in the 70s. Huge reservoir. So that's that's what that's what I'm doing now. It's pretty cool. Wow. This is LG1, La Grande Earth. Look at that. 